Welcome back everyone. We've now pulled everything off the grill. The tri-tip is resting. The potatoes are off the grill and the artichoke is as well. So we're gonna go right to it. I'm going to show you what we're gonna do with the artichoke. Pull it off the grill. Looks fantastic. So all we wanna do is take the choke out here. Um, if it's still too hot to handle, you're welcome to use tongs. But all you wanna do is kind of find the heart that's right here. Let's see if I can show this to you. You see the end of the heart and the beginning of the choke right here. You can take a spoon, a knife, whatever it is, and you should be able to come right in and scoop it right out. So this is all the choke that is not edible. So we wanna come get all of that out and then we'll be done with it. I'm gonna try not to go too far where we're taking the leaves out too. That's why I like using a spoon instead of a knife. We did lose a few of the baby leaves, but that's okay. So that way, when you're done with all the leaves, you can actually eat the artichoke heart that's sitting right here with all the choke removed. If you try and do this before it's cooked, it is really difficult. Once it's cooked, it just goes through like butter. It's so easy. So this has already been seasoned, salt and pepper on here. I am gonna take a few of these baby leaves out. That's it. If you let it sit there too long and you get it too black, you kind of can't see where that choke starts and the heart ends. So be really careful of that. The other thing I have right here is a little bit of mayonnaise. We're gonna make a dipping sauce using mayonnaise, a little extra lemon juice. Mayonnaise already has uh, acid in it, but we're gonna make it just a little bit more acidic. Uh, we'll add some herbs and a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm getting this choke out and we'll almost be done here. The other reason I love the spoon method over the knife is that it just kind of scoops right out. You really want to get it all, don't leave any of it in there. Number five. Number six. I know sometimes artichokes look super daunting, but they're really not very hard to make, and especially when you can use a trick like this and remove the the one difficult part in one step like this, it's makes it kind of an easy everyday treat you can do. All right, so there's six. I'm gonna put them back in the bowl and out of the way. I'm going to remove this cutting board and we'll slice the meat and we'll be ready to go after I do the sauce. So move this cutting board and bat be right back.
All right, sauce time. I use a fork rather than a whisk. Uh, for this, I have some herbs, Herb de Provence and a little bit of dill. Herb de Provence has oregano and tarragon and thyme and uh, um, sage, and it's gonna be great with the flavors in the meat. And then the dill's gonna just add a little brightness. Not a ton of dill. Add a little bit of lemon juice. For this, rather than using kosher salt, I'm gonna use sea salt, because it'll, the finer uh, grain will mix together a little bit better. And then some black pepper. So we're using a Fork actually helps it blend a little bit better. I'm gonna add a little more of the herbs and some more pepper. So notice I didn't do it all in one bunch. I wanted to split it up a little bit so that it doesn't clump together. And this will last for a while in the fridge. Looks a little bit like ranch dressing, but tastes much different. It's great, it's acidic. Yeah, add a little bit of salt. Maybe a little bit more lemon juice. Uh, it's acidic, but it's not over the top, and it's gonna be a good combination with this artichoke. That'll set off to the side, and we'll get our meat cutting board, and we'll finish up and plate. Meat has rested for a good 10 minutes. With tri-tip, you always want to slice against the grain, uh, not with the grain. And that way you don't end up with a tough bite. So what we're looking for here, make sure I move this out of the way. So you can actually see the grain coming down the side of the tri-tip here. And then over on this side, it's going this way. So it changes, but I'm definitely going to slice this way. And I may do it at a bias, but you can see all the grain running this way. So as I slice, holding it with my tongs, and, and this is, looks pretty good. It smells incredible. So even though the garlic didn't cook in there, it sat in that marinade for long enough that it imparted quite a bit of flavor. The other thing you'll notice is it's juicy, but a lot of the juices are trapped inside. Some of it will run down here on the board, but it's not an overwhelming amount. And that was why letting it rest was so important because uh, it kind of helps them, everything relax and keeps the meat from drying out too much. Buddy, our little dog, is going absolutely bananas right now, hoping that I drop something. So here is our tri-tip. I'm going to move it right back to the platter. <laughs> Sorry, Buddy, I'm not dropping anything yet. I may save a little bit for him later, though. And then I'm going to take the few drippings we have. I'm going to add it right back onto the 
plate that I have. And here we go. So it's plating time. Bring you back up here with me. So with our plate, I'm just going to take some of our potatoes that are now sitting over here to the side. I'll grab one of our artichokes, set it here, and then delicately place a few pieces of tri-tip down. And I always like to present it up and kind of offset just a little bit. So there we have it. Feel free to serve it with horseradish. We have our sauce that's going to go with the artichoke and uh, enjoy.